All right guys, so real quick, all we're gonna do is we're gonna change the input shaft on this transmission. It's a T56 and we're gonna put a 26 blind. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Get this thing changed and upgrade it. Alright, so right now I'm removing these right here. I don't know how many there is, but those are the ones that I'm removing right now. So, yeah. You guys are wondering again this is a 26 blind and this right here is a 10 blind so you can see the difference how this one has like I guess you could say bigger gaps so if you count it as 10 right you go over here and this one has smaller gaps so in theory this one has more metal more I guess meat on the actual input shaft so it's less likely to break and this material is stronger than that one so yeah this is gonna be a huge help and I don't have to worry about breaking this anytime soon and I think we just have to pull this back and it should come off it should so hopefully all goes good and we switch it fast nice and steady there she is We got about three more. I sponsored this. Button. Is that the most you can zoom out? Yes, sir. I need a new lens. Hey, buy me one for Christmas. Me? Oh. The new strawberry.
so I hope you liked the little video. Um, it's probably not gonna be that long to be honest, <clears throat> but yeah, it was exciting changing the input shaft. I've never seen or done anything like that. My dad's done it once or twice, he's told me, so it's a good thing I'm grateful and lucky for my dad. And uh, yeah, we were, we were able to get it done and seemed pretty easy. We just took off the bell housing and then we uh, pretty much just slid the input shaft off and resealed it, put it back, and that's pretty much it. But yeah, so I went from 10th plant to 26, and the next video is probably going to be putting on the power by the hour brackets on the motor. I'll make a video on all the parts I have later. Uh, right now, just trying to tackle one thing at a time. We're literally just making a goal every day that we work on the car. So today was obviously the input shaft. Got it done. Um, next thing is going to be the brackets, like I said, for the motor. Um, pretty much, you know, all the power by the hour brackets for the, my power steering, relocating the alternator, and stuff like that. Um, uh, if you're wondering, I have all the parts already, you know, headers, fuel system, all that good stuff. I will make a video showing all of my parts, all of them, and I will also make a price list showing you what I spent, just so you can get an idea how much all this stuff costs. Um, but just want to give a huge shout out to Lethal Performance right here. They hooked me up with this awesome shirt. Um, they went ahead and threw it in with the fuel system. I asked them, I uh, just put on the comments, I was like, yo, can I get a shirt? If not, it's cool. I, and I put, I'm a large. <laughs> so I opened the box and well, you know they gave me a shirt. So shout out to Lethal Performance. But I just want to say real quick, thank you guys for watching. It really does mean, it really does mean a lot. And just know I am working every day and I'm just trying to get closer and closer to finishing up this car. Like it means a lot. And it's crazy how far I've come. I never thought that I would be here. If you would ask me or told me that I have all the parts and I'm installing them last year, then you know, go back one year from now, I would have been like, that's, I don't believe you. It's just crazy. But, um, just really grateful for where I'm at right now and just stick with me because content's getting better, getting closer to the first startup. Still, I'd say a while from now, but we're getting closer nonetheless. And just thank you again for all the support. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.